Okay, so I wanted to make a, a, just a quick video on how to combat background noise, uh, background noise pollution when recording Daisy videos or any other type of gaming videos. Uh, so a lot of people will probably already use this method. So if you do, you know what's coming up. So uh, you don't need to keep watching. But uh, anyway, it's for the few anyway that don't really know how to use this method for recording. So when I started uh, trying to record videos, I used OBS, which recorded both the uh, in-game footage and my mic audio all in one. Uh, now, I'm using Raptor at the moment, AMD's recording software Raptor, and uh, for a long time I did use the inbuilt function of recording the microphone uh, through that piece of software. Now, if you're using NVIDIA or NVIDIA cards, then you'll be using Shadowplay. It's more or less the same thing. So at this moment, I'm using OBS to record this part, but uh, once the game starts, it'll all be Raptor. So the best way, what I find is when you're recording with Raptor, and you're using the actual in-game mic so if you have a look here when you open it up in the control center you have an option here to enable the microphone now this will let you record your audio with your actual gameplay now what happens is when you do this is you get all the background noise that's in your room or your office or wherever you're recording uh, you're gonna have clicks of the uh, the mouse like so or you're gonna have if you have a mechanical keyboard especially, you're going to get a lot of that background noise. Plus, I know it's a lot of people as well, when you're running games like Daisy, the uh, CPU fan is pretty loud. Um, the fans on the tower are pretty loud, so you'll get a lot of background noise. And while you're speaking, it's not too bad because the levels sort of adjust. But when you're not actually speaking and it's recording all the time, you get quite a lot of background noise in there. So I'm going to show you something, a uh, method and how to uh, combat that. So first of all, let's have a look at a little clip of me using Raptor with the uh, mic application uh, ticked so that I'm using uh, Raptor to record my audio as well. Okay, so at the moment we're using Raptor with the microphone activated through the application. So at the moment we're recording audio from the microphone uh, through Raptor. Now, if I was to stop speaking and say if I was being attacked by a player or I was attacking a zombie, uh, you would hear a lot of this. So when I'm punching there, you can actually hear the clicks of the mouse. And also, if I was to be moving around quite a bit, with the, especially if you're using a mechanical keyboard, so this sound. You're going to be doing a lot of that, especially if you're in combat or attacking a zombie or anything. When I'm not when I'm speaking it's not too bad because my voice covers the actual sound of the keyboard and the mouse, but when I'm not speaking As you can see it's it's it is there in the background and a lot of people as well, if they've got um pretty loud fans um on the case then uh, they're gonna have a lot of background noise which we should be able to cut out uh by not using the microphone uh recording option in Raptor. So we're going to use something else. Okay, so now what we're going to try is uh, recording a Raptor with the microphone deactivated, and we're going to record the uh, we're going to record the audio on a separate piece of software. Now what I'm going to use is Sony Vegas because I have it right here. But if you have Audacity or Adobe Audition or anything at all, anything that you rec can record your audio on, you're going to use that because you're going to get a better quality audio out of this anyway. So the first thing we want to do is go back down to AMD Gaming Evolved. And uh, click into the into this option here, and what we want to do is disable the microphone. We are not going to record the audio using Raptor this time around. Okay, so we can uh, disable that now as well. Just have a quick look at the settings here. Um, what I'm using for this is uh, 35 megabits. Uh, it's my bit rate, a max frame rate of 60, and a max video resolution of 1080p. Now, obviously for Daisy, we're not going to get 60 frames per second, but you know, every now and then it might jump up to about 40 if I'm lucky. But uh, there we go, that's that set. Now I'm not gonna open a brand new session here. I'm just gonna record it down here. Uh, you can open up a new session, but I'm gonna add this into the mix afterwards. So it's just gonna make it a little bit easier for me. So what I can do is uh, arm this, and you can make it a little bit bigger just to uh, see where you are. Now we wanna make sure our levels are around this mark. So this will get you some you know, good audio. Make sure it's not peaking uh, over the top. Make sure it's not going to red. Uh, amber is okay, but just make sure it's not going to red. Right, so all the levels are set, everything looks good. We can hit record here. And uh, now we can see that is recording. Uh, we're getting our audio here. So what we wanna do is we wanna start up the game. 
Okay, so the game's up and running. Uh, we're now recording on Raptor with uh, just getting the game footage only, and we're recording the audio on Sony Vegas. So let's go back out and perform the same test again. Um, now, what we want to aim to do this time is cut out all the background noise. So if we were, to say, attacking a zombie, Okay. Now, we've taken all this down, all this volume down, you can no longer hear it. I'm moving around, pressing the keyboard. While I speak, you might be able to hear it slightly. But when I don't speak, you can't hear it at all. And it's because we're taking the audio down in the edit, which I'm going to show you what to do now. But just one last time. No clicking of the mouse. So I'll show you how to do that, it's really simple. Okay, so this is the piece of video, and uh, as you can see here, as I flick through the frames, this is the video that we just recorded. And uh, just below here is the audio that we've taken directly from Sony Vegas and popped it in the project media here. And uh, what we've done is, anytime that I'm not speaking, as you can see, I've dragged the volume down on these. So just to see what it's like here. So I've dragged them, dragged them down. What you can do to activate that is just head over here to the channel on the left-hand side, to the channel options, right-click, insert, remove envelope, and the envelope you want to activate it is volume. So there we go. And it's just after resetting itself. Okay, so what you can do is, just to show you where I'm not speaking, is just uh, double-click on each one. Okay, so now that that's completed, uh, you'll no longer be able to hear any background noise that's been picked up by my, my microphone when I'm not actually speaking. So this is good for long videos if you're running cross-country and there's sections that you're not actually speaking and uh, the viewer can actually hear your fans in the background or they can hear the clicking of your mouse or your keyboard or if you're in combat and you need to take that out just to kind of create more immersion in the video. Uh, rather than the person watching kind of you know really knowing that you're stressing out with the keyboard or the mouse you can take all of that out so uh, this is also good as well if you want to narrate your videos because your in-game voice will actually sound very similar to your narration voice and you won't lose any quality you're keeping a consistent audio uh, quality throughout the whole video so uh, i hope that's uh, helped uh, if you have any questions just ask them in the comments and uh, anyway hope you enjoyed cheers